going to do um, kind of focus with the legs. I'm just going to put you in position first, and then we're going to move from it in just a second. So I'm going to make it very simple. First thing is just take your, uh, in this case here, your right foot, and you're going to point it out like at that, that corner over there in the wall. Okay. You're going to take your left foot. It's very similar to kind of what we did last week, was to pick up many times before. Just pick up the ball of the foot. And you want to kind of find with your weight supporting your right side where you can pick up your foot and put down that heel pointing straight ahead in front of you. Once you find that range, you just kind of want to push your weight and turn it just like we did before to that front side. Now I'm going to give you the principles of the action. You should feel that you're sitting into both legs, but there's a little bit of spring or extension from the back. Don't allow your head to drift past your front knee. Don't allow your front knee to drift past your toes. So really you're almost kind of like you're sitting in the middle. What you want to do is make sure that your hips are going to be squarely in front of you. I'm going to demonstrate here in just a minute. So when you come back, that means that if I was to bring my back foot forward, I'm already in line. So you don't want to be kind of like this, turn sideways. You don't want your feet to cross. Because your feet are crossed, you can't bring your hips around squarely. You're going to feel the torque in your back. Your feet are never going to be behind or crossing over each other. It's always going to be shoulder width. Now your gait, how deep you step, is based on your flexibility. What I mean, if I was going to do it you know, very ordinate and I'm going to be low, I'll make sure my knee is very bent. That's my flexibility there. When I step out, I'm at that range. But I have to go from there and stay in that range, even when I move. So if I come back up, I have to be at that same level. All right, so you go down to the level where your body can sustain your balance and your gait, how far you step is based on that. So you only step out as far as your body can support you. What I mean, when you step out, it shouldn't be boom. You shouldn't fall into your foot. It's like you're testing or looking, uh, testing you for like hot water. It's like, let me see if it feels okay. Okay, that's good, I'm good, I'm good. Then you bring yourself into that position. Okay? Don't allow your feet or your heels to collapse into the into position and, and push your weight over. All right, you're really kind of like trying to maintain and understand how your body, how well you can carry yourself from one leg to the other. All right. All right. So right now, let's go ahead and get to that position. Like I said, we're gonna start very simple. So now, take your center and slightly turn it towards your your front knee. In this case, here, your right knee, your left knee. Excuse me. And we're just gonna push our weight off the front foot, extend that leg and then turn our center to the back knee. Basically going to that corner again. Push it forward, turning back towards the front. Don't lean, make sure you're keeping your head behind or your hips tucked underneath just like we started off with and pull back again. Push forward, turning the waist towards the front knee Push back, turning the center towards the back knee. Keep it going. Get yourself a nice little flow. What you don't want to do, you don't want to go up and then come back down. You want to stay at that same level that you just established. Because then you already said, oh yeah, my legs can keep me at this height. They can support me. So you want to maintain that height and you're going to move your feet from that same level. So keep it going.
Now we're going to go into with the hand. Keep it going. Same motion you're in on it. Don't stop it. Okay. I'll turn the face you got out of the way. Keep it going. Now when you go back, you're going to hold the ball. You're going to put right over left. When you go forward, you're going to do ward off. When you sit back, you're going to do roll back. On the press, get back and push. You can lift your front toe and spray it. Okay, and we we'll just do the same thing over again, same side. Pour it off, very nice. Roll back, down the back, swing it back. Point, center turns to the knee, point off to center. Pull in, bring the center back around, press. Separate, lift the toe, push forward again. 